Avatar. My name is Satoru. What an honor to meet you. What an honor. Uh, s th thanks? You must be Katara. <laughs> yes. And you guys are? We're Aang's students, the Air Acolytes. Nice to meet you. But we'll, uh, stick with the Air Nomad tradition of bowing instead of shaking hands, if you don't mind. I've read so much about you, Avatar. But I have to say, you're even more impressive in person. That's really nice of you to say. But I, uh, listen, are you in charge around here? Kinda. I'm the refinery's engineer. But my uncle put me in charge of the entire operation until he and his business partner come back. Which is why the guards should have checked with me before they attacked you like that. Well, maybe you and I can sit down for a bit. I'd like to talk to you about where this refinery is located. The land it's built on- No way! Satoru? You okay? This is the best day of my life. I'm flattered, but you're making too big of a deal out of this. Out of me. I mean, saving the world was a team effort. I couldn't have... Toph Bay Fong! Huh? Water! Earth! Fire! It's really you! Yeah? I've died and gone into the heavens. I've admired you for so long, Miss Baitbong. First, you save the world, with Avatar Aang's help, of course. And then you discover a brand new kind of bending that not even the Avatar can do. <laughs> That's right, he can't. It would be an honor. No, it would be the experience of a lifetime if I could give you a tour of the Earth and Fire Refinery. Satoru, was it? You said my name. Sure, Satoru. Lead the way. Okay if my friends tag along. What? Oh, yes. Them. Of course your friends can tag along. So generous of Toph to let us tag along. This meat is so good. Anyone want a bite? No. I'll have a bite. By anyone. I meant anyone vegetarian. Miss Baitbong? No need to be so formal. You can call me Toph. Toph? Welcome to the Earth and Fire Refinery. Years ago, my uncle discovered that this area is particularly rich with natural resources, but he wasn't allowed to develop it because, well, because of political reasons. My uncle isn't a very political guy, but he is Fire Nation, and this land is Earth Kingdom. Actually, Satoru, that's what I've been meaning to talk to you about. This land may be a part of the Earth Kingdom continent, but historically, the Air Nomads have always... After you and your friends ended the war, Toph, my uncle was able to find an Earth Kingdom business partner. A couple years later, they opened this place. We're the first joint business venture between the Earth Kingdom and the Fire Nation. But as I was saying... Here, it doesn't matter where you're from, as long as you're willing to work hard. Satoru, if I could just have a moment... People from all over the world come here. Because the Earth and Fire Refinery represents the future. Jingbo. If you think this is impressive, follow me! That was actually our first odor production line. Here's our brand new one, which came to operation about a month ago. Okay, my mind has officially been blown. This production line does the same thing as the old one, only we replaced all the bending with machines. I've never seen so many machines in all my life. Not even in the machinist's workshop at the Northern Air Temple. Why would you want to replace bending with machines? Well, not everybody's a bender. With machines, even non-benders can perform tasks that require a lot of power. Plus, how long does it take for a bender to train before he's ready to work for us? Years? We can train an employee to use one of these machines in a couple of days. Bending just seems so much more... elegant. That may be true. So far, the bender line has been more efficient. But we're figuring out ways to improve this new line every day. 
What is that? The forklift? Mind if I give it a spin? Taka, don't bother him. He's trying to work. You know, the biggest deposit of crystals outside of Ba Sing Se is right here beneath our feet. That's what most of our current operation focuses on. But there are so many other resources we're gearing up to extract. We just have to figure out how to do it, and we will. Like I said, this is the future. I'm impressed. The whole place ticks and hums like the inside of a clock. Hey, how fast can this thing go? I'm not sure. It's not really built for speed. It's more... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's not your fault. I'm still tinkering with the design. He's just being nice, you know. It is your fault. Yeah, I know. You built this? Yeah. <coughs> I'm really sorry, but I'm going to need some time to get this up and running again. I'll ask one of the employees to finish the tour with you. They can show you the next building where the crystals are graded and cut. Step aside. Satoru, this engine. I can feel it. Every part is precisely crafted. Even the parts that nobody will ever see. Nobody but you, you mean? That was amazing! No sweat. Even my most novice metal bending students could do that. Your students? I run a metal bending school. Tafei Fong, is there no end to your amazingness? Flying fire ferrets, I've got an idea. What if you and your students came here every now and then to help out with the machines? Beifong Metal Bending Academy isn't far from here. We're just outside of Yudao. That's where my uncle and business partner are right now, meeting with the city's new government. They want to build a railroad. To connect there to here. Of course, we'd pay you and your students for your time. No, they're students, not employees. But you could sponsor a new school building for us. I think my uncle would be open to that. It would be like a... a partnership between a refinery and the school. Satoru, I would love to be in a partnership with you. I mean, the refinery. Is it just me, or is there some serious oogiosity going on over there? I think it's sweet. We almost never get to see Toph's softer side. Blech. Toph's softer side gives me the oogies. Avatar Aang, is it happening again? Yang Chen, what are you showing me? Is that what's happened already? Or what's going to happen? Are you alright? Anything we can do to help? Uh, I'm okay. I just need to get him to listen to me. Satoru, I hate to interrupt the, uh, whatever it is that's happening here. But I've been trying to tell you all along. There shouldn't be a refinery here, let alone a whole town. This land was, is, sacred to the air nomads. You aren't supposed to build on sacred land. Avatar, hi. No offense, Twinkle Toes, but what is that? A rule from the olden days? No one's been here for a hundred years. If Satoru and his uncle can figure out a way to make this place useful, I say good for them. But Yang Chen's been trying to warn me. She just gave me a vision. I think something bad is going to happen. Like what? I'm... I'm not sure. I can't hear her for some reason. And the vision wasn't all that clear. Here we go again! More stuff that's so important you don't even know the details! But don't you see? Something bad's already happening! Hang's right! Just look at the river! That's not what a river should look like! I know what you're talking about, Guitar, but I can tell you for a fact that's not the refinery's fault! It has to be the refinery's fault! Nothing else around here could do something like that! My uncle thinks it might be a natural phenomenon. Are you kidding me?! I'm with Aang. Nature can be gross sometimes, but it's never that kind of gross. Alright, everybody, back off! Satoru, say it again. About the river. What's happening to the river? Is it because of the refinery? What she's doing? Toph can use her earthbending powers to figure out if someone's lying. Wow! He's telling the truth. <laughs> Alright then, I'm with Toph now. Mind if we talk alone for a moment? Excuse us! Believe me, Toph. I know what it's like to have a crush on someone. It can blind... 
Yeesh. Sorry. What I'm trying to say is sometimes you can like somebody so much that it affects your perception of them. Kind of like how your perception is affected by your fuddy-duddy traditions. What? Look around, Aang. People from all over the world are here, working side by side. Isn't that exactly what you've been wanting for you, Dao? Yes, but- Satoru's right. This place is the future. You really want to sacrifice the future for a stupid backwards holiday? Hey! Who are you calling stupid and backwards? I was referring to the holiday, but if the shoe fits... <gasps> what was that? I don't know. Whatever you guys are arguing about, you need to keep calm. The workers are getting scared. Wait, you think we caused that earthquake? None of the earthbenders in our employer are powerful enough to do that. Well, I can tell you for sure that it wasn't me. Fuddy-duddy air nomad tradition teaches us to maintain our inner peace, no matter how unreasonable those around us are. So you're saying it's me then? If the shoe fits. Are you forgetting who taught you earthbending in the first place? I'm not some novice. I know how to control. <laughs> Whoa! That was way bigger than the first one! You guys okay? Toph, Avataring, I'm sorry, but maybe you guys should leave. Satoru, at least let us help you clean up. No, just go, please! My uncle will be back at any moment. How many times do I have to tell you people? Those earthquakes had nothing to do with me! It doesn't matter, alright? Right now the refinery is my responsibility. I can't have my uncle see. Help, help. One of the machines has gone crazy! Watch out! We need to get everyone out of here! Go on! Out that way! Someone's trapped underneath! Help! I'll get him, Toph! There's a core that connected to its power source! You just need to unplug it! You take care of the machine! Hey, watch out! Ugh! Thanks! Hurry! Take my hand, sir. You'll be okay. Thank you. Thank you. Got him? Got him! Ah! That was dramatic. You know me. Toph, about those things I said earlier. I know, me too. I guess I was just trying to say, don't you think you're trying too hard to hold on to the past? Maybe. But don't you think you're trying a little too hard to run away from it? Not everybody's past is like yours, Aang. Some of us have to run away just to... just to live. Avatar Aang. Still showing up where you're not wanted, I see. The Rough Rhinos? Colonel Monkey? What are you doing here? The owners of the Earth and Fire Refinery hired us as their personal security detail to protect them from rabble-rousers like you. What's all this ruckus? Who are these people? They're my guests, and they're just about to leave, Uncle Loban. I can explain everything. Satoru! You can start by explaining what happened to that machine that cost us 10,000 baht! You can just unplug it. What'd I tell you, Lao? Satoru is too scatterbrained to shoulder any real responsibility. Forgive me, Uncle. I'll get it all sorted out, I promise. One of us should have stayed behind to make sure something like this didn't happen! Lao? You look like you've seen a ghost. Father, 